Sarah Hancock, Jill of All Trades, Master of Mom. And today we're going to talk about how to make a crunchy pickle. One problem a lot of home canners have when making dill pickles is their pickles come out soft, translucent, or soggy. The easiest way to ensure a crunchy dill pickle is to take care in prepping the pickles for processing. The first thing that you'll do, of course, is soak them in a water bath for four hours. Make sure that the water bath is ice cold and that you stir the pickles occasionally with your hand. The next thing that you'll do is remove them from the water and slice them as you're going to want them in the jars. Currently, we're working on pickle chips. Once you have your fruit prepared, you're going to want to prepare your jars. These jars are hot and sterilized right out of the dishwasher. Next, I'm going to add one quarter of a teaspoon of a pickling additive. This will help ensure the crunchiness of your pickles. I use ball pickle crisp granules. You can get them in the canning section of any grocery store. Next, we're going to take the cold pickle chips and put them into the hot sterilized jar. Make sure you keep one inch headspace, which is about to the bottom of this ring. Once your fruit is in the jar with one, one inch headspace, you're going to want to go ahead and fill it with your brine. I have some brine pre-prepared here with one of my favorite recipes. Once your jar is filled with the brine, you're going to want to make sure that you wipe the rims completely clean of any debris so that you can get a good tight seal with your lids. Next, you'll place your two part lids and rings. And make them fingertip tight. Be careful, the jars are hot. Once your lids and rings are secure and tightened, you can go ahead and place them into your canner. The canner should be preheated and the water should be simmering. Once you lower them in, make sure that the lids are covered at least one to two inches of water. Then, bring the water to boiling. Once it's boiling, cover the canner and process these for 10 minutes. Once they're done processing, remove them from the canner and allow them to cool on racks. Your pickles will need to cure for at least two weeks before they're ready to eat, but if you followed the preparation properly when you eat them, they'll be nice and crisp. I enjoy doing pickles at home just because it's something my family eats a lot of and it's a lot more economical to do them here at home. I'm Tamara Hancock, Jill of All Trades, Master of Mom. For more information on canning, feel free to visit our website at www.tamarahancock.com.